the mighty Holzhausen. A massive two plus cords of wood, six feet tall, eight foot diameter. Welcome to the Almost Homestead channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built this Holzhausen. Holzhausen is German for wood house. Um, I made some modifications on designs that I had seen. Uh, the biggest modification would be the moss on the top, but that moss does have a protective layer under there to wick the water away and down the roof. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. I built the base of the Holzhausen using are empty propane tank pallets. They're made of oak, so I figured they'll hold up pretty good. I was gonna lay it just straight onto the gravel, but figured I'll put down the layer of extra protection. The method I'm using uh, involves putting a post in the center, tying a string to that post that's four feet long, and then the initial layer of wood that you put down you just follow along that ring, go around the whole thing and make a ring. The idea is when you get this ring set up, then the next row of wood is going to sit like that and tilt inward so the whole pile tilts in on itself. Typically a Holzhausen is used for just curing your wood and then the wood would be moved to a garage or to a woodshed. I'm just going to use my Holzhausen as my wood storage also and pull from it when I need it. If I have to, I'll put a tarp over the top during winter. Okay, so there's the next layer. Now I'll uh, go up again. It seems like it's really leaning in pretty steep. So uh, I think what I'll try to do is put the fat end of any of the next pieces of wood uh, toward the bottom and try to even it out a hair. It should be sloping, but I'm not sure if that's too much. It seems pretty severe. I guess we'll see. I've got several layers going around the ring, so I think what I'll do is pull the post and the string. Um, I can just go by the logs that are already there, wood that's already there, and uh, I'll start filling in the middle a little bit here to keep some stability to this thing. One of the YouTube videos I looked at mentioned putting an eight foot post across the stack. So I have this one I'm gonna cut, and then I had this big old branch that I've cut to eight foot. I've gone around and made another ring to slant everything inward. And I started filling up the middle. I got to put a little more in the middle still. And then I will start going around and uh, putting the wood the other way and build up. When I get another foot higher, I think I will put another pole across the pile. And I'll put that pole there. I'll have to cut it. So it's the next day, Saturday, and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, so I am getting a real late start today to try to finish, finish this thing off. 
Um, we went to town to get supplies for the chicks we're getting next weekend. And we came home with three chicks uh, when we got the supplies. So next weekend, uh, we're pretty much tied to getting three more chicks. So we're gonna have six chickens. I added this second layer to keep the uh, wood angled in again for this next level. I'm gonna go a little higher and then I'm gonna add that post Well, I reached the five foot mark, so now we gotta start sloping uh, upward and inward to get a roof going. And I'm gonna have to scrounge up some bark. I've got some pieces of flat uh, cuts that have bark on them, but not nearly enough to make a roof, so. All right, got a couple hours in today. Hopefully tomorrow I can finish this thing before the uh, snow comes back. All right, see you uh, tomorrow. Well, the snow has melted, so I'm gonna start working on the top of this holes housing and try to get the roof done. Still not sure how I'm gonna do it because I don't have all the right materials, but just kind of wing it and see how it goes. So the idea here is to just start creating a cone shape on the top. And then hopefully as you lay down more pieces of wood this way, you can kind of build it up. So I have some scrap cedar siding, like shingle siding type material that I'm going to maybe use for here to keep the water streaming off and then pile stuff on top going up there but we'll see i'm gonna drop a few more pieces of wood on here to shape it and then uh take it from there i've laid a, another ring of these pieces angled and i'm thinking i can that'll help angle the slope i might need to move them out a bit like that and then put something there behind them but I need to go up and grab the shingles that I think I can use I went up and grabbed some of those uh, siding pieces, the cedar siding, and it looks like that's gonna work out really well. I can at least do a ring around the outside and then build up from there with other materials. Kind of roofing myself into a pickle here but um, I'm gonna keep on working on it see how how it turns out here there's what I came up with put some uh, some of the heavy flat stuff that I had on top and that's holding down that stuff pretty good so now I think I got to go on a quest for big pieces of bark uh, probably just take the wheelbarrow and go around our loop here and see what I can find. If I can put the big pieces of bark up on top of this, 
and then maybe lay moss down also to hold everything down. I think I'm gonna have a pretty decent roof. Scored a little bit of bark so far. Just doing a little scavenger hunt. And here's what I have so far. Got a pretty big hole in the middle still I'm gonna have to cover. I did put some cedar stripping under that. And then I do have some more bark and I'm planning on maybe throwing some more wood on top and then moss on top of that. I don't know, I gotta work this to a point still so it runs off. Need to throw some more wood on top of here. I probably should have done that before I added the cedar strips, but I will. So this is what I've come up with. I've got the layer of the cedar, then I've got these heavy pieces of wood, then I got a bunch of bark. Now I'm gonna go around the top with a bunch of the rest of these cedar things. Then I'm gonna throw a rubber mat that I have over the very top. Then I'm gonna cover all of that with a few more heavy pieces of wood and then I'm going to throw moss on top of all that to kind of cover up the top and I think that will look good. It might sound kind of wacky at the moment and it does to me too. I'm just hoping it works. So I'm, I'm lining those up right now and then uh, once I get them around the top I will throw that rubber on and that should drape over those pieces and then I'll put some wood on there to add some weight and then like I said cover that baby in moss and I've been saving moss as I've been chopping down trees up at the other property and I have more up there so it just might come in handy there is the first phase of the top of the roof now I'm gonna put that rubber piece on there and then I'm gonna lay some pieces of a uh, small round split wood so the round side is up with bark on it lay those around to weight it down and then I'm gonna cover that with a bunch of moss so I'll make a few adjustments so uh, like this one here needs to move up and it'll probably still leak a little bit but it's gonna get keep most of the rain off of it now I need to go grab some more pieces of wood. Yes, I'm liking this. Those pieces of wood will hold it down and put a lot of weight on there and now that moss will fill it in really nice and little stuff will be growing. That's starting to look pretty good. I got more moss up at the other property and I think should be enough to cover the rest of this roof up. There you have it. The Holzhausen. And that uh, moss on top. It's kind of like a living roof concept I was going with. And there is uh, that rubber piece underneath and a bunch of cedar up there. So I'm hoping the moss won't drain water down below. But I think it, it should work alright like a living roof. And water will work its way down off of those shingles and uh, yeah that was really fun to build that thing the roof was a real challenge figuring out and if you're gonna build one of these um, again like in everything else we build up here it all depends on what materials you have we try to use stuff that we have laying around that we've scrounged and I succeeded on this um, so you just got to kind of work with what you got, experiment, see what works. I'll, uh, I'll post again the first windstorm and see how this thing fares against a big wind. But it's pretty tight, everything. I went around and knocked all the cedar shingle pieces in. They're all pretty tight. It's the day after the build and it's raining. So I get a chance to see how this roof is performing. One thing I noticed, uh, a mistake I made, and that is... I shouldn't have tapered in at the top because then my roof it really doesn't hang over that much so 
as the water drips down, it's hitting right down here and getting that wood wet. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I might leave it and then again, I might try to find something like some cedar fencing and tuck it under here and extend that roof out, you know, this far or something and it'll clear it. So if you're building one of these, you wanna make sure you build it straight up, don't taper too far in, and you probably wanna build a roof that comes out a little further. I've also seen a canvas type tarp thing that is made for a uh, holes house and if you build one, when I did look online, they were sold out, but it is something that's out there. So you could always check on that if you wanted. And that, my friends, is a wrap. I think that's gonna do it. This is Jay at Almost Homestead, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the build and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you like. Here's a couple channels uh, you might wanna check out, Downtown to Small Town Farming and Tiny Hilltop Food Forest. Go give them some support and subscribe to their channel. Thanks.